in your neighborhood this Saturday. It's all to help support our troops and 60 Chicagoland new car dealers are on board and participating. The Chicago Automobile Trade Association partnered with the USO's Barbecue for the Troops campaign, giving 100% of their proceeds to help local military and their families. And we're in the kitchen with CATA Chairman Colin Wickstrom, along with Chef Jeff Shapiro from Real Urban Barbecue in Highland Park in Vernon Hills. Welcome, guys. Good morning. And Colin, how did, this, delicious. how did this idea come about? Well, you know, dealers are such a part of our community, um, and we just thought, what could we do to help our troops? And partnering with the uh, USO of Illinois, hosting barbecues was a great fit for us. All right. Well, are the dealers up for the task on Saturday? They, we're learning more today, though. We're, we're going to be ready. Yeah, are you going to be out there doing anything, too? I am. I am. Chef's been, he's been training me hard. Yeah, I it. heard about I'm this, ready. Chef Jeff. Uh, you, you put together a boot camp for these guys to learn? Yeah, we yeah. actually went out and we met with all the dealerships and we taught them all the proper tools that they need to be successful for this weekend so that they're ready to go. Yeah, you have a drill sergeant voice. Were you getting in people's faces? Well, they got scared, but at the end it worked out great. <laughs> all right, good. Well, you have been outside on State Street and you've been uh, cooking up some steaks for us this morning and you're going to give us some tips here. Well, you know, we're smoking on State Street, so we had some big crowds out there, but it smoking worked out. Smoking on State Street. That should smoking be like the name of a Street. restaurant or, or, or a show, right? It's yeah. all great. But today it's really all about the steaks, and we're going to show some tips on how to make the perfect steak at home. All right. I need to, I need to learn this for myself, too. So uh, tell us what you're doing here in the video that we're seeing. So what we're doing here is we, we patted our steaks dry. We put a little olive oil on it. We season them with real just simple salt and pepper. We've got to make sure that the fire is going and, the, uh, you know, you've got a nice raging fire. And what we're really doing is searing the steaks. And uh, I'd like you to jump in and season one with me. Let's We've do got it. some gloves down So you don't use any okay. fancy seasonings, just plain old salt and pepper? Yeah. You know, salt and pepper is, you know, the basics. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's what really brings out the flavor. Right. One of the most important things is not We're only the, something, aren't we? I know. Not only the yeah. fire, but the most important part of it is with the salt and pepper, what we want to do is we want to dry them off a little bit, pat them down with the paper towel. Okay, sounds good. And then what about the temperature of the grill, too? How important? I mean, that's obviously huge. Well, there's a lot. First of all, we like to have the, the steak sit out at room temperature for 30 minutes prior to cooking. Okay. And what will happen that. is this way we can get all the juices ready and then the hot fire is going to be the key to everything and you can see that, that it's glowing and you got to get that big raging fire mm -hmm. but what happens is with you cooking a cold steak it's not allowing it to function properly on the grill you got to get it at room temperature so if you want to pat this down with a little olive oil salt and pepper okay you want to be able to not put too much salt on there too soon because it draws the moisture out of the steak mm -hmm. so what will happen is People like to season it ahead of time. Yeah. Big no-no. It'll, oh. it'll draw everything out. The other big no-no is to go ahead and use a poker with it. You don't want to use a. You want to use tongs with your steak. Yes. Because what will happen is you're going to put those puncture mm -hmm. punctures in there, and then what the will meat happen? is already dead, mm -hmm. Chef. We you don't bet. need to kill it anymore. You Colin, you learning anything over here, buddy? I, I am. I am. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> learning, learning from the master. Oh, I, a little bit, little heavy on That's the pepper. That's okay. Right. So what will happen is we'll take these steaks. We're going to sear them for 90 seconds on each side. 90 seconds, that's 90 it. 90 seconds okay. on about a 700 to 750 degree grill. We're oh. using today a ceramic cooker, and we got to make sure once you put them on, you can see we're going to sear those things 90 seconds, and we're going to flip them over, and then we're going to pull them off. We're going to let them rest for a few minutes. We're going to turn down the temperature to about 400 degrees, and then what will happen is we'll finish the cook that way. Oh. Perfect steak ever seen. Now, this, now, does this keep the flavor inside? That's why you sear it's it exactly. both times and take it off. And, and there's different ways of doing that some sometimes you do a reverse sear and sometimes you do a, a sear like we just showed on TV. But I think that it's um, for steaks. You got to do the, the searing method, and you'll have a great steak every single time. Right, and now this isn't the only thing that you do with the troops. You do a lot of work with the troops. You know what? We're a big supporter of the USO. We go up to the Great Lakes Naval Base up in uh, North Chicago, and we actually do what's called a no do dinner, and we feed them on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. So we'll go out there and we'll, great. we'll feed them five, six hundred soldiers at a time. And, and they love their barbecue. Yeah, oh, I know. So that's and, why it's such a great fit to be here today. And it's yeah. a perfect fit for I mean, last year you all raised more than $3,700. For this particular event, barbecuing for the truth, thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, excuse yeah, me, thirty-seven thousand okay. dollars. That's massive. Yeah, it, it's it's great. It's great, and you know this year. 
Um, it's over 60 locations. We're going to be doing uh, in your community, so just find out more at drivechicago.com. Um, and uh, beyond the barbecues, too, we're going to have, like, you know, events where uh, at our store we're going to have Jeep rides. At certain places they're going to have, uh, you know, troops there mm -hmm. doing certain things and kids' games. And it, but it has music. to make you feel good inside to know you're doing something so awesome for those folks who are doing things for our country. It does, yeah, for our dealers. And, and the other thing that we're going to do that's really cool is if you can't make it out to one of the dealerships, uh -huh. um, just have your own barbecue, take a oh. cool picture, and then upload it on uh, social media to hashtag BBQ for troops, and then we'll have some prizes that we'll give away. Oh, that's a great idea, because then everybody yeah. can get involved in that. Yeah. All right, I love it. All right, Chef Jeff, we got these things seasoned up here. So, so through the magic of uh, we were cooking outside, right. we actually prepared them, and um, we served a couple whole, and we made some slices for everybody to try here today. I love it. And I love I'll it. tell you what, they Steak came out perfect. Lunch. You know, nice. you always got to be careful on your temperatures. We want to do, you know, that 125 for around the rear and 130 for medium, 135 wow. for, you know, medium well, 140, right. you know, it's well done, but anything over there, forget about it. So Yeah, and you, was that garlic yeah. butter or something like you that? You know what, I made a compound butter today, uh -huh. and I don't know if anybody knows what compound butter is, but no. it's, it's basically softened butter. We add a little le uh, lemon zest, a little uh -huh. orange, some fresh oh, herbs so to good. it, and then you just melt it. Some of the restaurants will make them into logs and cut them into fancy little pieces. And we just like put to that just, over your meat, huh? We just like throwing it right yeah, on a there bit and get a little that flavor on there. on there. That is good. Huh? That Would steak like is delicious, Chef. Yeah. You know, know, the, the thicker the steak, obviously, the better. So you always want to start off with the best quality piece of meat you can. I like to go with that inch and a half cut you know, piece of meat, because it'll char off real nice and won't cook too fast. You can do a little bit of a slow cook with it, which really will make it look as beautiful as it came out today. And it Chef, tastes delicious. We got some salt uh, pepper in there enough. That doesn't it, look right. No, it looks good, good, good Val. Good. Hey, these are great tips, <laughs> Chef. Thank you so much. Thank goodness we and, have this. Uh, we've got a little something to contribute to the event as well. Our friends at Alessi Foods always give our home cooks a nice basket full of their Alessi products. We thought since you have that social media promotion. Mm. Maybe uh, you can send the home grillers who send in their best barbecue photo home uh, with a great Alessi gift bag as well. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Chef Jeff and Colin. Thank, Thank you so much for all you're doing for our troops. Thank you.